my soccer universe to my first going home from work video of the year finally when I go home it's a lot brighter so I can make those videos again which I actually enjoy more than the morning videos to be honest with you and yeah we'll see how it will go from there uh, Champions League draw is what we want to talk about and I'll make a second video on the Europa League draw uh, which will also be was also quite interesting but yeah, the Champions League draw, first of all, my overall reaction is it's a pretty nice draw in the sense that we have uh, two pairings that have a lot of history and a fi uh, former finals rematches. But also, if you subscribe to the theory that the four favorites are uh, Barcelona, Man City, Liverpool and Juventus, it kept them all separated uh, and that's basically all that you want to have from the draw. Now let's go through the pairings as they were drawn and then we'll talk about, since they also made a semi-final and final uh, brackets, how this will all pan out. The first out of the um, bowl was Ajax versus Juventus. I mean right off the bat you have a great matchup and now Ajax eliminated Real Madrid and maybe now they Ronaldo's former team maybe they can do it with Ronaldo's current team uh, we will see I think this will be a very very interesting uh, match of youth against a lot of experience I think this is what this uh, boils down to and we're gonna see how it will end up Ajax plays first at home uh, this is of course a rematch of not only the 96 Champions League final that Juventus won in, uh, on, on penalties but also a rematch of the 1973 European Cup final the last one that this, the great Ajax team won um, I think it was a goal in the fifth minute and then Ajax was just toying with Juventus at that point so first one already a great one. Then Liverpool comes out and plays Porto. I think Liverpool has the opponent that everyone wanted to have and at that point it was also kind of clear that yeah, the two easy teams, although I think no one will call Ajax easy anymore, uh, but the two easy teams out of the uh, pot are already out and they have been given to Juventus and Liverpool respectively. I think it's a pretty uh, sweet draw for Liverpool, but don't underestimate Porto. Porto is not a bad team at all. So, um, and I think Porto could very well play in the upper half in the Premier League. Not saying they will break in the top six, but in the upper half, I would see Porto for sure. So yeah, that was the second one. Then Spurs are drawn, and to be honest, I was hoping Barcelona goes there, uh, not because I want Barcelona to uh, get the easy draw, which Spurs potentially would be, but because I wanted to see the Manchester Derby as a big second matchup. Um, on the other side, Tottenham, Barcelona would have already happened in the group stage and I don't really like rematches either. So I'm okay with Tottenham City, but I said if I want to have an English duel, if you watched it a few days ago, I didn't want to have uh, Tottenham in this English duel. Now we have it. It's gonna be an interesting one, but yeah, I'm I'm not so excited about that one for some reason. Then. I'm about others. I mean, Liverpool Porto I'm also, you know, kind of lukewarm on that one, but it has. I actually think that this could get potentially interesting. When Tottenham City also, but those teams know each other so well, and I really don't see Tottenham causing too much damage to City. I frankly don't see it. Um, and that left the last one as uh, initially drawn Barcelona United but because you cannot have two Manchester teams play um, you know have uh, on the same match day even if they are split in two, two, two days they switch the home right so it is United against Barcelona United have to play first at home and then uh, the return leg is at the camp now this is an even bigger matchup than the one between Ajax and Juve for me um, yeah, I mean right off the bat it's it, it, it's bigger two bigger teams and also more champions leagues between them um, we have 
three for United and five for uh, Barcelona. So that makes eight. Ajax has four. Juventus has two. That makes it six. But those are the two glamour matchups if you want to uh, see it. I can see that arguments are made that probably the second, I mean United versus Barcelona, I think everyone will say this is the top matchup. I can see an argument that others say Tottenham versus City is the second best. Uh, I would probably subscribe to that, but just from the rich history between Ajax and Juventus, I'm totally excited about that one. Now, those are all, all the pairings. How does it set up? We have Spurs against City will play the winner of Ajax Juventus. That's really gonna be interesting. I really like because I think every everyone sees if you look at the book, it's, it's uh, City, Barcelona, Liverpool, Juventus. So you actually have the one against the four seed if you want uh, project to play each other. And even if a Spurs against Ajax, this is a this is a matchup I really wanted to actually see uh, because of the shared similarities between those two teams, namely uh, both uh, teams really embrace their um, Jewishness in, in, in a way, although I think for Ajax it's more of a kind of a fluke thing that this happened, but yeah, uh, from that point of view this would also have been a really interesting matchup. But yeah, I like how this pans out and of course the winner of those fours will have the home field advantage in the final, meaning they will have the choice of the home jersey. Which, yeah, so we will see Tottenham, Man City, Ajax, Juventus, uh, whoever comes through will pick in what they want to play in. Then Man United Barcelona will play the winner Liverpool against Porto. Yes, uh, before that, uh, Man City, let's say Man City and Juve go forward, uh, Man City and you went Man City would first uh, play Juve and then Juve in Turin, so uh, maybe slight advantage Juve, slight. And same thing goes here. Barcelona would play the first game if they would advance. Barcelona, Liverpool would advance. They would play each other at first at the camp now and then uh, in another. Uh, and then they play at Anfield, but you know you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, Last, I mean, so I, I really like the draw. It, I think it is super fair. I really think it's super fair when we get enticing matchups, but we avoided some uh, some really crazy matchups between any of those uh, super favorites. And what I did not expect, we can have a Messi versus Ronaldo final. We can also have a City versus Liverpool final. So I mean, the big. The big finals are still possible, and yeah, people say they, 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 sounds like I hear many voices that they don't like it, or we already know how it's panning out. I actually do like it because we really can see where it's going, and you don't have to make another draw. Which I, I honestly thought the semi final draws were always a little bit stupid uh, because you have only four teams left in the pot, and then you make a bit this big product around it. I think it's more reasonable this way, have everything decided and let's go and play the games. Looking forward. The last point I want to make, uh, this is more of a, uh, you know, what could have been. Let's assume that all the ties that we had in the round of 16 would have gone the other way. Just for uh, fun's sake, and I did this uh, when I looked at the final bracket. Then the draw would have, and let's assume that the balls would have come out the exactly same way. So instead of Spurs City, we would have Schalke against Dortmund. What a matchup! Uh, instead of Ajax versus Juventus, we would have Real against Atletico. What a matchup! It gets even better. Uh, instead of Man United, Barcelona, we would have PSG against Lyon. Another in country matchup. And then. Uh, Instead of Liverpool Porto, yes, it would have Bayern against Roma, which uh, falls by the wayside. But that would also have been uh, interesting, although not as great as what we have. Well, let me know your thoughts on the Champions League draw. Which matches are you looking forward to watching? Uh, how you like the overall uh, draw setup? Whether you would have preferred another draw for the final semifinals? I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.